So Josh, tell us what your organization does and who it helps. So Angel Flight West arranges free air transportation for people traveling to and from medical treatment or other compelling human needs. Uh, so what that looks like is a group of volunteer pilots that donate their plane, their time, their cost uh, to fly people who don't have access to health care nor could afford it, uh, transport them uh, you know, from an airport closest to their home to the airport closest to their medical treatment, um, all and, free of cost. Wow. How does this help the local community? Well, it's, uh, it helps in, in multiple ways, right? Um, so we're fortunate living in Southern California to have access to uh, all the cutting edge healthcare in the world. Um, but uh, people from surrounding areas, surrounding states don't have that access. Mm -hmm. So it helps us bring people to our resources to get the treatment they need. Uh, but also there's occasions where there's a resident here in Santa Monica or elsewhere um, that has a rare disease or needs some sort of treatment or maybe it's a clinical trial that's not available in our area, um, but they don't have a, a way to get there or they don't have a way to get there repeatedly because you know, their healthcare situation has taxed them to the point where you know, they're nearly bankrupt or um, they don't have many resources left. Um, so they contact Angel Flight and we find a pilot to fly them to and from treatment or a commercial airline partner uh, that can get them where they need to go to get the treatment um, that they need and health care they need. The other area that we, we do a lot for this community is we do a lot of special needs camps. So um, let's say a kid with a burn survivor or a kid with cancer um, or uh, maybe a life-threatening illness like HIV. Um, there's camps around the state of California and around our 13 western state territory that host these camps so kids can go and be around other kids like them, mm -hmm. um, can, can feel normal, not be stared at, not ask questions, or um, that are coping with the same things that they get to go for a week and get away and do that and our pilots will fly them there and back. So we do that for a lot of kids, especially from underprivileged areas in LA. Um, that are going to you know Yosemite or they're going to Arizona or they're going up uh, to Northern California mountains to kind of like get away from the world for a little while and and feel normal. That's great. Who pays for this service, Josh? So all the costs are donated by the pilots or our commercial airline partners. Um, there is no cost to a passenger whatsoever. Uh, we are a 501c3, so the flights that the uh, pilot um, or commercial airline partner donates to us uh, are tax deductible to a degree. Um, and then our office staff, we fundraise like any nonprofit. You know, we get individual donations, we get grants, we have fundraising events uh, to pay for you know the cost of keeping lights on, keeping everyone organized, and and the technology that supports it. What happens to Angel Flight if Santa Monica Airport is closed? Uh, well, Angel Flight was founded at Santa Monica Airport, uh, 1983. A handful of pilots that said, "Hey, we really want to do something other than punch holes in the sky or fly." you know, for a hamburger. Um, so they put it together and their first year they flew six flights. Um, and uh, last year we flew over 4,000 flights. So it's really grown um, and we've, we've officed here at the airport the whole time. And a lot of our flights, because we're from here and because UCLA is close and local uh, oncology centers are close to here, we fly a lot of flights in and out of this uh, airport. Uh, we have a group of volunteers that come and after the pilot delivers them, they'll pick them up in the car and drive them to UCLA and drive them back. Um, as you can imagine, someone from a rural area that's traveling to Santa Monica can be overwhelming. Uh, and the cost of a cab isn't cheap um, and they're, you know, kind of on bootstraps anyhow. So um, if, if, they, if, uh, if Angel Flight wasn't located at the Santa Monica Airport, that becomes exponentially different, right? Because then those passengers and our office, for that matter, would have to move to a Van Nuys or a Torrance, or mm -hmm. uh, and getting to UCLA from those areas, as you know, you know, if the traffic's bad, it could be, you know, over a hundred dollar cab ride, stuck in traffic. You know, are you going to find volunteers that are going to drive there? So it would be really sad. You know, there's a, a big heritage. Angel Flight West was, was the first Angel Flight there ever was, and now there's, you know, uh, like-minded organizations all over the country. Um, and so a little bit of that heritage would be lost if, if we moved out of here. Uh, and then obviously the logistics become a lot more difficult for our passengers who, um, you know, it's hard enough flying in and out and trying to transport here and there, but, you know, having to drive that extra length uh, would be really hard for them in their, in their uh, conditions. How can we get involved? Um, well, the best way to do it is to volunteer. Um, 
Do I have to be a pilot to volunteer? You don't have to be a pilot to volunteer. So obviously our pilots are doing a lot of the heavy lifting as far as in-kind donations and transporting people to and from. But you heard me mention earlier that we have a program we, we call Earth Angel that was started by a, a local pilot here at Santa Monica mm -hmm. uh, with the Santa Monica and Westwood Rotary Clubs. So they, they created this program to drive people to and from treatment. So that's one way to do it. You know, you get a couple emails a week saying, hey, here's who's coming into town. This is the times they need to travel. This is how many people they need to travel. And this is where they need to travel to and from. Great. Uh, no obligation, just like our pilots, no, no obligation to do it. It's just on your own time and your own willingness. Uh, and then we also have office volunteers, right? So there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes to make sure that we're flying over 4,000 flights a year. Um, so we need help. Uh, we're a nonprofit. We we try to make the most of our meager uh, resources, so we use a lot of office volunteers. Uh, and then always you can support us financially. Um, like I said, it takes a lot to to operate. Um, so you can donate on our website, angelflightwest.org. You can follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, and help us tell our story. Because unfortunately, we're too good uh, too good of a secret kept. Uh, we need to. We, we need people to know what we're doing out there and, and maximize our volunteers and our resources. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, thanks, Josh.